There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. It's not necessarily that she killed no. the she child. Did. It's she, more that if she allowed the child, the child to die. That's killing a child. If you kill a child out of neglect, it's still murdering but a child. It's yeah. kind of like you're letting time and air kill the child <laughs> without you really doing anything to stop it. What's right? up, everyone? Welcome to the last stream on the left. Ben hanging out with Henry and Marcus. We're talking about the chick who I believe one chopped and then she killed her child, but she didn't chop up the child. Again, she allowed the child to die. Worst cooks. It was yeah. worst cooks and she worst was cooks. one of the more charismatic characters. I hate that show. She was. I do. I do like it because I like. You I actually like, like Anne Burrell. No, uh -huh. because uh, you don't like Anne Burrell. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. There are times when I look at her and I wonder, what's the back like? You know what I mean? I, I like Anne Burrell. For some reason, I just don't. No. Look up Anne Burrell. Can we just do that? Can we show Anne him Burrell. Anne Burrell? Anne Burrell. And, and you... do people like Amber? I thought that no one really liked that. She's fine. She's fine. And she just, comes up, she corrects you if you're holding the knife uh, wrong, and uh -huh. she draws a line on your hand. Because the thing is that a lot of people, you, you no, idiots, Amber right? Oh, you fucking not idiots. Amber Heard. That's a whole nother No, Amber Heard is... I've just seen the... the Amber Amber hey, B, no B is a bitch. That. You... No, B is in bitch. Anne. Oh, my God. They have Again. Amber... Not Amber L. <laughs> Anne Burrell. Anne A-N-N. Burrell. Burrell. B, like Commissioner Burrell. Be you. Be you as in you. What is you? <laughs> there. Oh, there she is. That the chick the on the top. That's the fucking woman. And Burrell meatballs. She looks like Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, I know, but I kind of uh, want to fuck Gordon Ramsay too. If <laughs> Gordon Ramsay and Guy Fieri had a long distance relationship with a woman. It oh, so yes. Yeah, yeah, but uh, look yeah, at that hair. Very what is she got? Woman. It but looks she, like a Ben Stiller from that Something is a About bad Mary. Picture. It looks yeah. like there's semen in her hair. And she might, honestly, she fucks probably. She's, no, she's fine. She I, just got revealed to not be a lesbian. Okay. And so, uh, <laughs> cut through it. Anyway, so she was training this, like, very charismatic woman to one worst yeah, cooks in America. Yeah, we know the story, Henry. But then she, like, neglected to not yeah. let her kid die. Yeah. Where's, do the one to, with her to, to, to neglected there. to not let her kid die. That's Amber. Ooh, okay, that's so me. Like that's a, who's who, like who's taking a picture of me on vacation? Oh, right. well, let's move on here. It's All my right. mandate. We're going to play a video to start with that I've played, I think, five or six times. It's a movie trailer for a film called Gorp. Great. Great. It's yes, great. indeed. I think that Marcus would be interested because backwards, it's Prague. Oh, yeah. I'm fine with Prague. You guys will recognize this immediately. You, are you fine? You're only fine with I'm Prague? I'm only fine with Prague. I'm not a big Prague guy. Gorp. Gorp. It's oh. a film made without Remember? any prejudice to sex. Yes. I'm just here to have fun. Sex and fun. No commitment. Whoa. Just like the guys, right? What a babe. Religion. Nuns on the run. That's why I liked it too. It's Gorp. All right, yeah, we've seen this a lot of times. Yeah, I know. I've showed it like a thousand times. No, I actually don't. I have no recollection of Gorp. Look, it's Martin Bryant. Oh. Uh, the Port Arthur Massacre. Yeah, fun. Look at that. They were having. Oh, look at him. He's having sex with something. It's Gorp. On the plus side, Isn't that guy's mouth funny? Gorp is, is contemporary. His mouth is funny. I do, doing, chap? Good to see you, chap. Oh, this is when movies. You can't get away with this anymore. I mean, what? What being in a tank? <laughs> I actually saw there was all quiet on the Western Front. Just almost one. It's one of my. It's one of my pet peeves when people are like, couldn't make this movie anymore, and it's like a clip of Friends. Yeah. <laughs> no, they don't allow that on TV anymore. Yeah, she talent. Could never do that anymore. True talent. He looks horny. That he looks does like, look horny. Looks Everyone like is horny super thing. horny. Yeah. I love that guy. And he looks like um, the brother of uh, Ron Howard, but it wasn't. No, it was not Clint Howard. No, it, no. But that guy is famous. Yes. The balding guy there, he was from, I believe, Coach. He was on Coach. He was also in Revenge of the Nerds. Uh, yes, uh, for someone who just said that, that guy, has that, his video huh? been played no, several times in the chat? Yes, absolutely. No, Thank you, Marcus. Marcus but no, that wasn't. That's not. Uh, that's not the guy from Coach. He was in another movie, or TV show, where he played a coach. Oh, Look at that. Uh, hey, you're that me, guy from uh, Blazing Saddles. It is. It's so who's who? That's Tom Kenny. <laughs> I honestly do think that that was Tom Kenny. Really? Yes. Dennis Quaid! Wow. So anyway, that French French, French Rusher. And the last that. time we showed this, we went into a, I think that was the last time we showed this where you, you went and we we went in a little bit of a deep dive of the film and we know that there were scenes out there. It is mostly unwatchable. We know that it was yeah. a big old like it was, it was when Porky's was coming out. Meatballs. Yes. It's, when, yeah. it's when men were allowed to write, direct, star in motion pictures Finally. as opposed to now. <laughs> oh, yeah. as opposed to now. You know, I remember my father 
love and porkies. Yeah. Right. My father your, loved porkies. I can't porkies. believe that your father would even allow that in the house. My dad would have burnt the home down. No, my if father he, knew I he loved porkies and his favorite scene. I'll always remember because he sat me down several you know, times because he used scene. to be on cable and he sat me down several times. You know the scene where they be. go, they look in through the hole. Of course. And they look at the women, sh the teenagers, the, the no, girls no, showering, no. right? Henry, right? All those girls were in their mid to late twenties. Yeah, oh, sure, 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 yeah. sure. Mentally, they're 15. No, no. <laughs> they were very mature. But they look through the hole. High school. I think it was college. They no, looked it was the hole. High it was high school. Yeah. And they looked through the hole, and the girl's like, oh, you got, you're going to, ooh, you stick yes. your dick through the hole, and then they stuck the dick through the hole, and then yeah. it pulls, and she pulls it. it. Exactly. Yeah. And it was also, quite graphic, actually. They did, I think they did full frontal nudity, didn't mm -hmm. they? Oh, very much so. Yeah. That was when full frontal nudity, you have to actually look forward to not be in a movie. <laughs> well, and I, and I miss that. I feel like there should be more full frontal nudity that's not just people in the Holocaust. Yeah. I, because we're not well, allowed to be absolutely. horny when that shit shows up. <laughs> no. Everybody gets mad. Because, like, I remember, you know, even watching fucking, even as a, ch a kid watching Schindler's List and there's some boobies in it, well, you, you know you're all, like, fucked on. up. Yeah, that's real good there, Henry. I used to watch the hospital channel. Channel, back when TLC would just show surgeries. Yeah. And, and uh, I, I, if I see a booby that's a little bit orange, like it's got that stuff on it that you do before surgery, I'll get aroused. Oh, yeah. yeah iodine. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Dr. Gasoline says they're going to set the chat on fire tonight. And guess what, guys? Right. You're allowed to because we're not in there. No, we're not. So last episode, and these are episodes. These are full story arc episodes. Oh, this yeah. is a part of a long Henry, narrative. Yeah. Henry played a clip about a man. And we watched about 10 minutes of this man. Mm -hmm. And he was discussing how he wants women to burp in bags of chips and then he'd eat the chips. He that wants was a man to named... walk by him and, uh, and yeah. fart on his steak Farting, and then he'd eat yeah. the steak. I mean, then what we learned was that was a man named Marshall Mathers the Fourth that is apparently a, a subject of much derision on the internet. I did not know that. Also, <laughs> also Marshall Mathers, Eminem, perhaps they're related. No word if Eminem enjoys farting on Eminem his actually likes to just keep uh, to himself. He likes to keep it real. He does like he to He chill out. He hangs out with his cousin Marv. This is real. He hangs out down yes. in Detroit. And he just like, he don't like people to know what's going on. He doesn't he let doesn't. his daughter get into any special things. He said, he come up to me. He's like, I'm Marshall. People meet him. He's like, I'm Marshall. Like, yes. then, you know, right. people say like, whoa, whoa, Eminem, I love your fucking rhymes, dog. Uh -huh. And he's just like, quit fucking calling me that. You see me on stage? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm Marshall. You're Marshall indeed. So... I figured we would want to give that man a little bit of what he wanted. That'd be great. Again, burps, farts, any kind of gastrointestinal issues. It seemed as if he was dabbling in the world of scat. As Henry did point out, I think if he actually <laughs> did do what he says he if wants he, to if, do with poo, poo I think he would have a change of heart. If he was the dog who caught the car, he wouldn't know what to do with would it. Know what to do do with it. Know how to do because it. he'd get to the car and he'd be all covered in fucking liquid shit. Absolutely. And <laughs> oh, people are all asking, Kissel, where is the KFC flashlight? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's been it two is, weeks. It is in the. It is currently in my house, <laughs> full of semen. <laughs> oh, you invited good. the navy over. Oh, yes, good. indeed. I'm, I'd still take a look at it, even oh, if it is full I, of your semen. I'd take a. I'd take a I look at it. Yeah. Why are you hiding? Like, it doesn't look like chicken anymore. I'll tell you that. What are you? Who you? Joe, you're fucking Joe Biden. You're hiding documents. No. Yeah. Is that what this is? You, Mr. Joe Biden? No, sleepy Joe doesn't understand. Oh, the whole world wants to see his KFC flashlight. Well, I think it would be awesome if a president had a fleshlight, to be honest, and then we could name it. It would be the first fleshlight of the American people, for the American people, and it would stand up for the American oh. people as well. And then maybe our presidents would stop fucking the interns. Most of the time mm, when, that was they, a dated reference. when they do have a uh, <laughs> They also fleshlight. didn't have fleshlights in Bill Clinton's day. No, they no. might have had no, pockets. They, no, no, they, they had, had women. They had, they had no, pockets. No, 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 no. They had pocket I know possessed. for a fact that they had full torsos you could buy. Um, oh, we uh, remember the, the butts. Porn star, I the, butts. the biggest porn star of our time. Huge boobies. Uh, Jenna Jameson. Jenna Jameson. Yeah. She, you could buy her <laughs> pussy and her butt. So, I remember. Yeah. That's, that would I be you could buy her child for Murphy Metter. <laughs> well, not anymore. She is she is a great mother if she has a kid. Yeah. People but, are really saying that their Patreon money would only be worth it if they see Kissel have sex with the KFC Fleshlight live for the Patreon feed. Well, I'm not, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe if we get up to 300000 I'm not even asking okay, for you to have. I'm not even asking you for to have sex with it. What I'm asking you for is you bring out the Fleshlight. You should show people this is the flashlight you take it to the bathroom for say three to four minutes oh God, you come back you pour the semen right oh, here no, no, on no, the no. table and then we chop it up <laughs> oh, we God. do it like rails that is disgusting let's play this woman making arousing noises uh marcus gave up his uh flashlight because it was too difficult to clean yeah Listen. she's the mm. one of many we'll play today thank yes, you thank up, you please. eric please <laughs> 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 
shit at fucking To be honest, he's kind of weak in this bird. He's super weak. No, no, she's really doing it. But they're weak. All right, they're let's weak. go on to the next they're then. If you, if you think that those I are weak burps, I thought this those is were my thing. quite what powerful I like, burps, to be honest with you. I don't I mean, also, be... we didn't have the sound up li loud enough, so you really didn't hear the first few True. to really build up sure, sure, what sure, like, sure. she was up capable of doing. But this is where I want to reach. I want to speak for Marshall Mathers, right? Not Eminem. The fourth. But they, or Marshall Mathers the fourth. I want to speak for him because when it comes down to it is that I know that if he saw a model burp, what he more so appreciates is if she almost throws up. And he would like no, it that if she burps, well, that, that something is flying out of her mouth and that yeah. he can see she's in distress. Okay. So yeah. that woman was just burping because that's what she does. She's comfortable, much like Mr. Mathers said. He wishes that we lived in a world where women would burp yeah. and they would fart. Sure. And this, those were natural burps. I mean, farting was more his thing, but burping, he also burping he did. Burping was he did. very, he Technically, was very involved with the burp. His yeah. thing was for him to, for a woman to fart and have the shit come out of her anus and then he could clean it up clean with a wipe. Yeah. And, and again, that's why it's everyone. I has hope a the place YouTube algorithm is holding. I really am glad. I think because how long have we started? We're 11 minutes in. We've already said yes. prolapsed anus. That's fine. I sure. I think we oh, made yeah. it past. I think it's an eight minute mark. Prolapsed here. anus. It's, yeah. it's YouTube. Yeah. Only Good if you're Joe Biden. Joel. <laughs> Um, so this woman now, is, first of all, she's beautiful. Yeah, I got much feeling, like the other one. I got a feeling she's, she's going to be a lot better. At this, she though. is better because she's trying, yeah. and this is what people are here for. So this is Blazing Sugar, and let's just see how she does. And of course, she does have the aid of Coca Cola. Well, you don't know if it's Coke. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's, good, right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, she's got a lot more. <sighs> Is she okay. is at any point is she gonna shit in a glass? <laughs> no, but this is what okay. she does, and she continues to be beautiful. I mean, I, I like this. That's about good. That's a good one. I like this. Yeah. What streaming service I is this it. on? Yeah. I don't know. Blazing Sugar got a new follower. Uh, support this woman. Then I have to put on like a. Yeah, honestly, Blazing Sugar. Nice. Yeah. Like, can we get like her on the show? She's putting the effort to, um, in. She's drinking the sodas, and she still looks beautiful. She's a cat. Uncle Sherry burping and farting right now. Hell yeah. Film it. Send it us. Uh huh. Side stories. L P O T L G M L dot com. Are you a beautiful woman with nothing to do and you need to fucking listen to that, Henry? Would you stop? Listen oh, to this woman. Was, she seems. That, was, that was five seconds. All right, let's roll it back. She seems to be getting better. She's fantastic. I watched the entire thing <sighs> multiple times. If you're a beautiful oh, unemployed woman who wants to burp for fart in a, a video, you just send it to Side Stories. L P O T L. There's Ben Kissel. Now with the interesting thing, just water. That's all it takes. <sighs> That's pretty good. Like and there's that. a guy over there on the left who's trying to apply That's for a like, job. Uh, yeah, look at all the look at that one guy. He's got all the memes. Here we go. This, that was almost a word. Oh, that's a double. She's happy with that. Okay. For sure. But she's not gonna she's not gonna fart into a bag. Of no, buddy. For... This is for burping. I'll burp. I'll burp with you, whoever. Right right now. Ha, ha, I'm bored. Why not burp? You well, know, it's six funny the is flamingo. That... Now that I've noticed, six the flamingo is definitely her number one fan mm. in almost every uh, single chat. Yeah, that's, that's good. And with good. the wink, she's got the PS5, it, so she it must be PS5 going very well. I believe that's a GameCube, which means it she's is. awesome. And then here she's likes anime. If this is this is my introduction to this yes, woman, Matt and I would still marry her. <laughs> Kissel yep. is completely in love with Blasian. What's her name? Blasian Kissel. Blasian Kissel. Blasian Kissel. Do you think her first name is legally Blasian? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, you know how hot you have to be to be able to burp like this and still be hot. I don't know. I mean, burping I still really think she's hot. Yeah, at all. Yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. I'm not grossed out by burping or farting. I feel like nothing. I feel if it was extensive all the time, if it smelled, that's, that's more of that it. thing. Is that if it's, but I don't more. But you know, when it comes down to it, if Blasian is there, I'm not kicking her out. I am just a little bit sad that that Mr. Mathers guy did not discover her. Maybe yeah. he did, but I hope that he's able to find. Well, he's not Tra dead. He can still discover at any time. We any time. Trasha just know. said. Is he not dead? Trasha just said from the from the chat. She said, "Why do humans sexualize everything?" What did she mean? By, why is she asking this question like she's a fucking giraffe? Nice. No, yeah. humans. Are you a giraffe, not Trasha? Human. I don't. Think are you a fucking giraffe? I don't think that humans sexualize everything. Well, I think that certain things are just sexual in nature. Well, and what I like about in this case, you have a woman. She's audible. You know, she's alive. Number one. Number two. She is letting you. That's her siren song. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then also, the mouth is open. The tongue is out. It kind of simulates fellatio. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, the humans. 
sexualize everything. Well, not you know, like dolphins that, do. Well, it's, it's also the that, very creative force of, of of life. Yeah, it's not that humans sexualize everything. It's that humans can sexualize anything. Most things yes. can make any one person horny. Probably. Yes. I think yes. on some level, no matter what it is, no matter what's going on, like it's, there's something mm. if it hits you at the right time period. Yeah. Right. Like, like they talk about, like you know, Jerry Brudos. They he blamed his ch- foot fetishes on the fact that he used to hang around underneath his mother's skirt and she used to play with. Their knees and shit like that, yeah. and he said, "As a little boy, and that's what does it." Yeah, but, and yeah, but Dennis Rader said to... that he got his uh, fetish from watching his mother get stuck on a spring on a yeah, couch, yeah, yeah, and yeah, she yeah, was struggling, struggling and the whine and going, me, 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 me. and he watched it, and he got this is very horny. This yeah. is why you know this is how kids got to happen. I think it, it, always... it got downloaded. Like me, yeah. yeah, I I think that I'm always searching for boobies no, because I couldn't suck. You're always searching for spaghetti. I think. Uh, that's more like it. Um, wow. <laughs> they said they shamed me at the doctor. They, <laughs> they shamed did. me. They, they did said, shame they, him. literally, they were like, what's your weight? You know, they were like, oh, they're looking at it. It's like one, 182, right? I was like, yeah, yeah 182. Oh. And they're like, what's your height? And I was like, five foot six, right? They put it on the thing. Uh-huh. I put five foot six. I was yeah. like, yeah, whatever, to balance it out. And did they she, actually, did they measure your height? Wouldn't, no. They but then she went like this. She went. You. Mm. She look at my it's body mass good index good. or whatever the BMI. Uh-huh. BMIs are not real. They're not real. I hear it's junk science. It's junk science. I hear it is. Trash well, is laughing just like a fucking giraffe would. <laughs> All right. Well, let's play this. Let's jump around a little bit here, Eric. Speaking of sexuality, is this possible? Is it possible? Possible to make this sexual? Let's go to this ear draining video now. Anyone yeah. who wrestled in Man, high we're school starting knows hardcore early. all it's about like it's sixteen minutes in. We're getting right into ear draining. All, okay, look at this. <laughs> oh, I okay, hate just, these just things. I hate these. So videos. this is called cauliflower ear. Oh, this is for you, Marcus. This. I love them. And it is so. It's one of the most painful things you can do to your ear. Right? This is him with his mother, and actually, this is kind of sweet the way that she's taking care of him. Drain it. Oh, I hate these. Is it a your ear fetus? Is it a Lansing? Is this? Do it. Just fucking I do it. I hate this shit. It's his mom. This is the mother of a wrestler. This no, is what you have to do. No, this is awful. Hey, <laughs> I hate it. Uh, okay. I'm in. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, I okay. love this. <laughs> Oh, I oh, hate it's ex- it. It's an extraction. It's not it's a land It's an extract. Thing. Okay. Yes. This is fucking awful. That <laughs> fucking pimple popper woman has a whole empire of this shit. <laughs> this guy is real yeah. tough because this Can hurts. Stop telling me to breathe out, bro. I'm telling you what they tell <laughs> me. Do you know how bad no, it must hurt? He called yeah. his mom, bro. <laughs> but they're this cute. This is disgusting. It's kind of sweet. <laughs> it is. Actually, your mom would do something like this and laugh. Without I could see her doing that. Oh, yeah. Yes, out? God, and then you see it. she's oh she's God. doing it. Yeah. So that's what's in there. Oh, is that black? Yeah, what's it's the like color. A, of it? It's like did the, the trash oh. acts. Did this happen to you, Kissel? No, I did not because uh, oh, wow. I, I, always wear my, I would always wear my headgear and I would practice in headgear as well. Why do you get cauliflower? It's just rubbing and breaking yeah. tendon. Guy, why I mean, do you it, boys it's, it's do this? And if you've ever seen a UFC fight where somebody punches it and yeah. it pops. Oh, oh man. Yeah, Mike oh. TV sexualized this time. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you yes. figure how do you get a horse? Is this sexual? Out? Also, I never saw the color before until this video. It's like an interesting it red. It, it, you it's know blood. It's, it's fruit punch red. It's very fruit punch red. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm sweating. And it's working. Look at the ear. It's getting smaller it and smaller. It is getting smaller. Yeah, it's this okay. There awful. we go. You're deeper in my ear. ear. You're deeper in my ear. Why do men? Why are you all like this? <laughs> so is we it, need to go to war. We need a war. This uh, this guy would do great in war. He looks Ukrainian. He's I love he's the demise. He's moving. He's got to be. The <laughs> Look at how much she pulls out of this thing. It looks like a pussy. <laughs> it yeah, is. It looks like a big old flumped up pussy. Okay, pull it out. Pull it out, pull it out. You can't suck it dry. You can't suck it dry. <laughs> okay, mom. Out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Fuck. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, subscribe, watch more. Yeah. No! You wouldn't want to watch more. That's from Jiu-Jitsu Times. They know all about what it means to be in pain. I hate the whole pimple popper thing. I don't like pimple popping, but that... What is that? I... That's a cauliflower ear, my friend, because it makes your ear look like cauliflower. It's an extraction. And haven't you ever cut open a cauliflower and seen all the blood and guts on her inside of it? <laughs> Honestly, every time I cut into a cauliflower to see a bunch of blood and guts, I realize, holy fuck, where's Wendy? Aww. Um, That's sad. Yeah. That's sad. That's not real. I've never killed my dog. No, uh, she's still alive. I have pictures of her. Crow. No, but people are um, people are eating dogs. Did you see this? We actually talked oh about God. this on side. Wait, 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 wait. Did you, did you just say? Jay Leno this? Have you heard about this? Did you see this? <laughs> <laughs> you heard about this? I got to go. This is what we're happening. 
this. We're turning into fucking the Satan's version of Jay Leno. <laughs> Did you see this? Okay, this is terrible. Have you seen this? You know what we need in if, Denver. If we're gonna do this, we need the dancing Murdochs. <laughs> oh, that Alex Murd, Alec Murdoch. Wouldn't that be fun, dancing Murdochs? I mean, literally, it's just people that look like me doing. Yeah. So in Denver, they have. 5,000 Canadian geese that they don't know what to do with because they're shitting everywhere. Uh -huh. They're going to kill them and feed them to the poor people. Well, yeah, crazy? in Denver, well, yeah, they're saying they're getting... There's their... nothing wrong with it. I mean, I'm just yeah, saying it's interesting. I think... fine, fat Christmas goose. No, like but, it's, but it's not like that. It's going to be pulverized. It's going to be like put into like some kind of very bizarre... Like a brick. Like a brick. Like yeah, a brick. something you would give to people in solitary confinement. Yeah. But there are some people who are defending the geese. I was actually looking further online. There's a lot of goose heads out there who say, leave these fucking geese alone. But then there's also people who say that they want to go to the park and not have to step in goose shit. Yeah. So the goose should be killed. But isn't that bizarre? We live in the wealthiest country in the world. And we're going to feed people who are a little bit less fortunate wild goose. What are you talking about? Goose is, that's an incredible idea. Is I it? think it's nice because number one, it saves Denver, right? Because they're mm -hmm. busy. They're growing weed. They're skiing. Yeah. They don't yeah. have time to be fucking figuring out new plots. Right? Yeah. They're very granola. They're very, very granola. Like when it go, these, go, these geese are sitting around here. That's money sitting not around. That's just meat. That's <laughs> yeah. all it is. It's fucking that's meat. That's a lot of meat. I it's know. Like, you know it's, it's inconvenient around. meat is yeah, what it is. It's Right now it's inconvenient. You kill it. You pulverize it. You put it in a blender. You p give it to the people. You don't feed it to the people. They have a choice whether or of not course. they want to eat Do you the want bug food. meal or do you want goose paste? Goose. Goose paste. <laughs> and that's goose what you paste. get. You get bug meal. You, you want your no. bug cube. Here we go. I These are from it. the lantern flies. Uh -huh. yeah, which is actually probably those. a good idea if we grind no. them up into cubes. Yeah. And then, or you have your like goose that. slop. Souffle. Yeah. Right? Where you, you <laughs> get Souffle? the big, Because uh, you, you wouldn't even know if you grind it all up and mm -hmm. you cook it and you put it into like a goop form and make little nuggies know. out of it. You would goose know, I'm just nuggets. saying it's like, it's, I mean, people, technically it's the equivalent of in Wisconsin just giving people roadkill. I mean, people pay for chicken goop in the chicken nuggets. That's All the I know, the and goop I did it yesterday. I tried, I, I asked McDonald's if I could get it unnugeted because mm -hmm. I love the way that goop looks. You I just put goop. my head right by that, like, that pink faucet. Give it to me raw, sir. Give it I to can, me raw, I, baby. Recently, it's kind of funny. You go up there with that Ziploc bag, right? And you just go like, flurry it up. Flurry it up. I won't be unleaded. And then they, what they do is they give you that whole pile of your fucking pink ass goop. Yeah. Right? Then I you feel just, like you go to McDonald's and say, give me a, b a bag of gump. Give me give your me gump. Go have something like that. Hey, Kimi, sir, you got enough of that fresh gum? Because you don't make it all in the nuggets, right? They'd give you something. <laughs> you got to have something left, right? I follow Chub. Up. It give me a big bag of chub. Hey, tell me what. Well, I got yeah. two gallon bags of chub. Would you? I don't see if it's just fits in one bag. Do I can charge for just one? You do. Absolutely. I think the chub is free. Um, you have to pay. The, gorp. You, yeah, People yeah. are also saying gorp. <laughs> gotta we pay. call yeah, it gorp. It Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Good call. Thank you, chat. That's right. Thank you you got to pay to go. Around. They hold you hostage. You got to give them five bucks and they'll let you leave. Uh... I think you could probably suck it through a straw. Yeah. That might be kind of good. Hey, and maybe a red vine. I always like to suck things through a red vine. I That's actually fun. don't know if you can anymore at this yeah, point. you can. Not in this economy, man. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> red vines are still more affordable than Twizzlers, which I actually think are bullshit. All right. Let's go what? to this video. I prefer Twizzlers myself. I, oh. Everyone does. No, yeah. that's not true. Chat. Back me up. Yeah, on everyone actually, ask does. the chat. Hey, who prefers red vines to I Twizzlers? I guarantee you we have a red vines crowd. You think red, so? Yes, because. Or are we? So you saying we're like a miracle whip group? I mean, I'm a miracle oh, I whip. Don't mind miracle. I, I, I am. The tangy, it's the tangy taste of miracle. Whip. I am one thousand percent a miracle whip person over mayonnaise, except you bre be. breakfast sandwiches only mayonnaise, lunch sandwiches only miracle whip. What do you do on your Saturday salads? <laughs> yeah, Marcus. Marcus every he, Saturday he, has a salad. Explained to us how every Saturday him and Caroline they sit there like, oh, what kind of salad are we gonna get? And they order a salad together, and it's and it happens so often and so organized that they call it Salad Saturday. Yeah, no, it's their Saturday, Saturday salad. It's not that. That's, that's the thing is that it's not necessarily a Saturday salad. It could also be a Sunday salad, and it's not necessarily how do Saturday we salad. Even do it's not. So, so it's not yeah. salad Saturdays because that implies that the entire Saturday revolves around the salad. It doesn't. In fact, yeah. I, if it did, I literally well, would call gonna, a marriage counselor. You're going to love his Monday goulash. <laughs> um, he the, always likes goulash mm, on Monday. I would Actually, really we have say this. usually on I Wednesday. Think that, I think you're going to be surprised with the number of Red Vine supporters uh, Truly, out there. I, I will say there is more than I thought. Absolutely. But it is, it's still overwhelmingly twist. That's the, power, that's so, so. the power of advertising. They Again, actually, no. They don't what, know what they're talking about. Again, Let's go with it's all about packaging. A good idea doesn't. A good idea doesn't sell itself. I'm going to WrestleMania next weekend. Mick 
Mick Foley, he's an icon of mine. He's an idol of mine. I've had a chance to speak with him, and he's the sweetest man ever. Mm -hmm. There's a famous match that he had with Big Van Vader, who didn't have the best WWE run, but he was really iconic in WCW. And this is the match where Mick gets his ear completely fucking ripped off of his head. So I figure we'll do a little ear stuff here. Let's play this match. I never watched it before, um, but you can see it here. And let's just push play. And uh, this is, I believe this was in Germany. And this was the first time I ever saw this footage. So there's Cactus in quite good shape. Here it is. Here's the mistake that's about to be made. His head oh, is stuck. Yeah. So at this point, he literally can't pull this apart. He thinks he's about to die. The ref that's not. Oh, oh, and then boom. Yeah, and the ear is off. Yeah, that's the ear. Oh, he just ripped his fucking ear off. He rips his cool. ear off. I believe Vader, I believe the ref either has it or Vader throws it. Let me see. Can I see that side. again? Can I see that? Yeah, we can do and so, yeah, this also, so the ropes that were used here were actual steel cables. So there's no give. Oh, yeah, people are asking why the ear stuff, and it's because this is just what was in Kissel's mind. This is what I was just, this, this is, is his it, mandate. This boom. is his mandate. Ooh, wow, it just flopped right off. Dang, it flops right off, but the match continues. Big Van Vader, he gets up. I swear to you, I think he picks it up here. And he's just like, look what I did. Even though technically Mick did that to himself. Now, what did you do? You just get your ear reattached like No, that? he never got it reattached. He doesn't have an ear. He just has like a little bone. That's yeah. cool, actually. And that so makes him more like, like a sunglasses. Yeah, I mean, he married a model. He was married to this beautiful woman already at this point. Um, but you see him in his youth. He was actually kind of he was an attractive guy in his own w- way. Women like a strong man. Yeah, like somebody, who, like somebody could really like, you know, you know knows what he likes. Because he went right back to work. Yep, yeah, man. went right back to work. He, and look at them. They're laying it in here. How are they continuing the fight if he literally ripped the ear off the side of his head? This was That's when Mick Foley, my friend. That's that Mick. is Mick Foley. This is when wrestling was wrestling, and he looks like he's really wailing on Big Van Vader. So mm-hmm. this is the era. Well, this is 94, but this is like the style of wrestling I love. Yeah. Very extreme. Real yeah. punches. Yeah. Vader doesn't care that this man's ear is ripped off. Men truly ruining their bodies and sprinting towards death. For how, how much? Oh yeah. How old was Van when he died? Fifty. Yeah, something? something like that. Forty-five. Well, 50? is there such a thing as an old wrestler? I guess Ric no, Flair is close. Ric oh, yeah, Flair Rick is actually is way old. Yeah, there's like three or four of them. You can be older now, but it seems like it takes a real toll on the body. Okay. Lex Luger, there it is, and that's the match. So they kind of did call it early. Yeah. Um, and there you As go. they should. I feel like, you know, maybe it's good. Because he's probably think, losing a lot of blood at this point. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I think people were people were sort of... I don't think they understand quite how hurt he is here. That's cool. But uh, it is pretty cool when the music plays. All right. Well, I almost... Yeah, I, but losing an ear, like, you can keep going after you lose an ear. It just hurts. Like, it yeah. just hurts. Uh, you, you're not... It's not like you've even lost your hearing. Would you rather lose your ear or have it full of cauliflower? <laughs> <laughs> I'd much rather just lose the ear. <laughs> I am lose a, it all. No, I, if it's a cauliflower, you just get it drained. I just don't understand. I, I do work, obviously, I work so hard. Mm. And I try, I care too much. Right? That's mm. what everybody That's says. Those are my main problem. two issues is that I work too, too hard, hard and I care too care much. Too much. Yeah. Empathy. Uh, he called himself an angel. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a star seed. He's yeah. a star seed. I'm a trapped angel in this flesh mm-hmm. that is, I, the reason why my blood yeah, what, pressure is so high mm-hmm. is because all I do is feel the constant pain from others and want to help 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 what are you a star what are you a star seed for a uh uh what are you a star seed for a pear tree <laughs> doesn't even make sense yeah you look like a pear <laughs> does it actually make tree. sense but the tree is actually skinny the tree itself is skinny you know no, but mean? the seed is the fruit i'm just the saying. seed is the fruit the seed is the damn fruit <laughs> I've lost all train of thought. I can't believe it. <laughs> Paul lost all fucking train of thought. Also, there was something I was no, rolling into. That you're that you're an angel. You're a oh, star. Oh, now I He's sound a star, like a crazy person yeah. when you try to roll back I what I said. Actually, I sound like a guy at a bus stop. Does yeah. that still ex- Does Jello still exist? Jello? Yeah. What was the other thing that Cosby fucking used to rep? Like the pudding pops. Dude, they pudding pudding exist. And yeah. Kodak. I haven't seen them in forever. I haven't seen pudding pops in forever. No, no. I, I think, think it went down with the. I think they may have gone away. I think that it's because the sheer, just the image of them might recall all of his crimes. Because now all I think of, if I saw Puddin' Pops, I just only want to be like, that's a Puddin' Pop. That's all I would think. Well, Subway uh, Subway is still slinging subs there. You know what's funny about Puddin' Pops, though? I only ever had them right before I went to sleep. Yeah. Hmm. Because I liked them Very as a kid, unhealthy. and I used to just rip through a fucking box of those. Yeah. Do you remember the Flintstone pushers? Yeah, I oh, love the Flintstone. But we used to buy them from the Schwans, man. Man, I miss them. Do you have the Schwans, man? 
<laughs> no, but... Was that the guy who fucked your mother? Yeah, but I don't think that guy actually <laughs> stole it. Push and Pops. No! Sean's man never touched my mother. Pops, Not uh, once, sir. Yeah, they don't. You don't think your mom ever had an no. affair with the ice cream man? Absolutely All right. not. Well, in, the, in the Schwann's man, of, explain not, it, explain. the Schwann's man is not the ice cream man. The Schwann's man is the frozen goods man. He drives around the countryside in a truck full of frozen goods, <sighs> and he sells them to people. Buddy and that included Flintstones, Push Pops, both Sherbert and Chocolate. It just used to be he so just, much and easier. And corn dogs. It used to be so yeah. much easier. To have a secret family, it to did. be able to fuck an entire other family, like oh. it used to just be. Because you remember a hide in plain sight or abducted in plain sight mm. for the guy who the 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 guy the Mormon family where the con man fucked the father, the mother, and the two kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that was still it's the nineties. Like, he was a frozen foods guy. Yeah, he's yeah. probably a Schwann's man. He I must, must be, be. Schwann's. Is Schwann still around? Oh yeah. Oh I'm yeah, sure yeah, no, he yeah. Is. Schwann's man. There's definitely there's Schwann's men all over this country. I don't Something. let them near your fucking. Think family. Like, seriously, I think my cousin worked as a Sean. Don't. Man. I mean, but I think probably so more easy. men have fucked a chick selling Amway than women have fucked a man selling Schwams. I don't know. Schwann's man can be quite fetching. But Michael Jordan it. told a funny joke when he was on the Late Show. What was it? Was it about a Schwann's man? Was this years ago? Yes. It was in the 90s. Okay. I believe it was Jay Leno. And okay. he was like, bah, 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 and Jay Leno <laughs> said, oh, how tall are your parents? And M Michael Jordan said, my mom's 5'6 and my dad's 6'2. The milkman's 6'7, however. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's, uh -huh. that's actually a tragedy. It's, it's actually maybe, very funny. Do you think yeah. it's the reason why he ended up having his father killed? <laughs> no, he didn't have his father killed. <laughs> His he's dad, a champion. He Honestly, because I think of it. That about this. was very sad, actually. Of yeah. course, it's well, true. That's how sad. much of a champion he is. He even has to have the saddest father death. He has to he have the, the saddest well, father death. Well, and Kobe, I took that first. Kobe has the saddest death, though. Yeah. Because he died with five other people, including his daughter. So technically, that is, you, if you're going to make the GOAT argument based upon sadness mm, of life. It's a thing, though. It's tough Michael to say. Jordan's not dead yet. Not yet. So but we not don't yet. know how no, he's going to die. Do you know how many times a he Larry would... Bird has to call him and say, stop booking helicopters, Michael? <laughs> like, yeah. stop doing this. He's it's being fine. like, I want to die on top of the helicopter. <laughs> like, he wants, <laughs> oh, he's okay. going to fucking dunk from a helicopter. Mm -hmm. Let's, speaking of families, let's go to this family feud clip. It's very quick, but it's interesting because this man really ended up murdering his wife. Yes, huh. well, you busted her. You got to show her. Oh, you put well, it right. Maybe, maybe it's know. right there. Yeah. It's right there. Yes. Honey, I love you, but said I do. Oh. All right, so. Who was the? I love my wife. So take it back, all right? This, look at this murderer's face. He obviously, he looks like a fucking murderer. Right? Honey, I love you, but said I do. Now, this is what he looked like when he murdered his wife. As you can see, he had great transition. He really changed quite a bit. He did the Pee Wee Herman thing where he sort of looked, you know, like you remember when, when Paul Rubens. Yes. Paul Rubens was the man Who that we played. saw in the mugshot. Yes, we did not see Pee Wee Herman no, in the mugshot. Right. We saw Paul Rubens, we saw Paul Rubens. In, in the off season. Yes. Yeah. Isn't yes. that interesting? Um, also, um, this guy here... It was interesting because he he told the truth, and isn't that what you're asked to do when you're a contestant? God, I just uh, feel no, like I'm when, in. A, when I feel like I'm in one of those shows where Ellen DeGeneres allows like a child to host. <laughs> You know what I mean? Where they have they bring in a kid who's got like, oh man, no, 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 no. what's the biggest mistake that you made at no, your wedding? Because the question was, what's the biggest mistake you made at your wedding? Yes, he says, honey, I love you, but <laughs> I said. I do. I said I do. Which is, I mean, it's not a well-constructed joke. But guess joke. what? Oh, it's well done. Oh, but guess then... what? It was a Family Feud answer, and it was number two. When it popped wow. back up, if you wow. watch the rest of the show, so not only, so he said the thing, Ding. he said, and it was right, right? Because yeah. say and I do, because everyone regrets it and stuff, and then later on, but he actually meant it. How Rebecca, did Steve's 41-year-old mother, the 41-year-old mother of three was found dead with a gunshot wound to her, in, her, in her house to her head. Wow. Yeah. How did Steve Harvey react when, what? Did, did he go... Oh, Steve Harvey is always, he is it's my favorite. one yeah, of the best. He's great, yeah, because he's just had, he has so much contempt for every single person on that show. No, he, he doesn't. What's God. the worst thing that anything could happen in no. America? <laughs> Say I do. And he does that thing because, well, he always asks, it, the whole thing is that obviously he's asking a question that sounds kind of naughty. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to say a thing that's yeah. like super naughty to begin with. Well, fart! The vision. <laughs> fart! <laughs> and then what they do is, is that they, because they, they've been prepping you for hours. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because they don't want you to suck up there. You can't embarrass fucking Steve Harvey. God, no. No, you, you're you know? filming about 10 a day. Steve Harvey dresses like the king of Oompa Loompas. <laughs> he, really he is, is the most... 
colorful man I've ever seen. Uh-huh. I love his fits. Yeah, his I wife, do love his clothes. His wife was beautiful, by the way, and she worked as a nurse at the Blessing Hospital, huh. and she always was willing to pitch in. People, and she would go to school events, and she volunteered in a nonprofit. Animal oh, they didn't theater. slam her in the the profile on People Magazine. <laughs> I've been saying this for years. I've been waiting and to hear from one. The Daily Hive. <laughs> I want to hear at least one time of being like, you know, like Leslie Hunt. What a bitch. <laughs> oh, that's so does glad happen. she's dead. That does in the happen. entire town. That does yeah. happen. All I've right. never seen it though. I've never oh, really it seen happens. it. I've never I've never seen it. I've never seen like these the serial killer documentaries, the grief porn ones where they just talk to people crying for 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, maybe for an entire fucking episode. Mm. Where's the killer? I like the know but the killer. Marcus, you're getting a lot of congratulations on your spot on nonverbal Steve Harvey impression. Really well done. I don't know. I, I think there's some issues with it, to be honest. But let's. We talked about this Texas haunted house on Side Stories. And this is the news article that goes with it. So I thought that this would be kind of fun to play. Uh, Rainstorm Fox, unfortunately, it's raining outside, so I can't wear anything of quality. So I got my, I got my boots on. People ask me what sneakers. Very nice. Yeah, it's nice. Very nice. Let's just watch this little news story. And this is the uh, story is we covered on Side Gainesville. Stories. It is not a moving company. No, not at all. No, but if you do move in, you haul yourself house. right back out. It's like a revolving door. The longest anyone stayed in this house was six months. That's because of the smell? Says she and her husband no. had no idea why. In this the mirror. The After 10 tenants moved out in less than two years, mm, God, someone all. told them it was haunted. <gasps> Did you actually believe that? No. That changed while she was taking a shower. And I was in we here. Through the curtain, got, we a dark this. figure mm-hmm. whispered, saying. looking good. And then he turned and walked off. Linda assumed it was her husband until her husband walked in. Also and she sheer. said, who were you talking to? And it was like, oh my uh. God. He swore it wasn't him. It really is haunted. Rumor has it the house used to be a bordello. She doesn't look too bad. She actually kind of like you kind of see. She doesn't look that bad. She's probably 80. Sexual. (laughs) Sexual. Okay. No other way to put it. Audio recordings have caught the ghosts talking dirty. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I like it like that. And I would like uh, to talk about something else. Like uh, what is that? this door, which yes, is pretty dust. snug. Keep pulling on it. Even when Linda pounds it shut. Pound it shut. Pound it. Pound it. Pound it. it. To, oh, oh, watch yeah. this shit. For those reasons and many more, Tell me about it. Linda That's gave up tell me about finding it. tenants and gave the house pound. a name. Pound. Hill House Manor, where people can now investigate for themselves. Pound Even though she no longer rents out the house as an apartment, she still has the same problem. If Who's you this? come here, I don't know who this asshole is. Who is this? I think he's the reporter. Stay. Now, true, I'm never leaving. Oh, they're making fun of this, no, they're this horny joy. woman. They're making this fun of this of horny ass woman. All she wants to do. So, didn't that ghost just go to have sex <laughs> with that old woman? Yes. House or, I would yeah, say WFAA. it's like let's. I can't watch these people. Ladder, but yeah. I do. Get these. Get these. Get, get these fuckers no, out of here. No, they're having a nice time. They're it's making just, it light. They have to talk about Putin, Ukraine, and then there's a haunted house. And then, oh my God, our our news reporter turned into a ghost. And he's going to have sex. Yeah, we're going to go that rail this woman. woman. Now, I that was, that was a Dallas station too. I oh, really that's a think station. that oh. it's important that if you come home, right. And the and a ghost has gotten your significant other like all lathered up. Oh, you better mm-hmm. finish. It's the like job. yeah, you yeah. better jump yeah. right in that shower, man. Yeah, because it's like yeah. he's the first time she's been like fully complimented. Well, because even her her body didn't even, like her no, body looks kind of. She looks good. Up, she looks good. She looks yeah, good. Yeah, she looks good. Yeah, I actually good. think that her and her husband still fuck because immediately she was like, "Oh, her, okay." <laughs> and he's like, "I didn't try to fuck you right then." Yeah. And then so that isn't so it wasn't like shocking. No, she wasn't, wasn't like, I can't believe he said something nice to me the first yeah. time in 30 years. She was yeah. like, I'm used to it. He yeah. usually gets it in every night. But if you come home and she's ready for it and she's horny because of the ghost, because the ghost is lathered Cheating, you up, but... I would say that you finish the job, yes, but you don't tell her about the ghost until after. Never. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. The you make her pleasured by the ghost. The no, 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 is, no, no. But you make her think that it's just thinking of you. Yeah. They got her all bothered. <laughs> yeah. Right? Because you, you take the credit at first, but it's harmless. Let's it's go harmless. To this. It's harmless. 
well, it's harmless <laughs> because again, it's just yeah. it's just the white light. It's, yeah, it's, it's just a fib. It's not like in Revenge of the Nerds when no. that the guy put on the mask and she thought that it was her boyfriend. No, that's, that's a felony. That's, that's, a that's felony. rape. Yeah. That's rape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a har- this that's, is harmless ghost goofery. It's ghost goofery because <laughs> it comes down to it is that the ghost doesn't even know the ghost is. Uh, let's just be face it. Face it. It's like the ghost would have fucked anybody. Anybody. I mean, and I, I'm sure she's a lovely woman. I, I don't be. think the ghost would have fucked anybody. I think the ghost spoke to her, and that's what matters the most. <laughs> but the, the, they said that there's been 10 people living there in two years. So the yeah, ghost but they just the, said it was haunted. They didn't say they were hit upon. Well, actually, they didn't say what the ghost said. Yeah. No, they yeah, they didn't say anything. Also, this is a specific. sign of sexual frustration. No, it's not. I actually uh, take it off because I don't want the logo to be on the stream. It's so called sexual, continuity. Yeah, it's called sexual frustration. Let's go. So you think <laughs> this is a joke? It's not a joke. You, it's not a joke. You him it's for- not a joke. D and D satanic panic supercut. Let's go to the middle here. I think I got the you got the timestamp. Here we go. We got two D and D things here. Oh, great. And this one the is dark v- shadows of the day. Listen. Oh, this is satanic dreams as wild, grisly nightmares haunted his sleep. Mm. I would see just horrific, awful, awful, just bloody and horrible Sounds creatures like hacking at my friends, and and I would and I would stand there and watch my friends as they would be just hacked apart, and they were just incredibly. He's scared of Dungeons and Dragons I, monsters. I wake up That's what, is. what it is. At night. He doesn't be fairly weak. Why does it seem like he shouldn't be going to sleep with that mustache? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you should shave that off, bro. No, I can tell the difference between reality and fantasy. I can't. Not everyone I play with can. Whoa. So what is this? And then it just cuts to a clip of Tom Tom Hanks. Hanks. Why? What is this? I don't know. What is this video? You can't. It's a trap. It's a supercut. I have spells. Oh, what yes, this are. is from the TV Go movie that Tom point. Hanks was I in. The Dungeons and Dragons controller. convinced him he was a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> because it's this idea that you get so Who's involved in playing Dungeons and Dragons. Even though and most of the time you're being nitpicked by some fucking game. nerd in the back room <laughs> of a comic book. Of bad DMing. And we see it happen <laughs> oh really God, quick, these, I feel these like. Men, you have these precious For men. instance, one case, the parents were actually saw their child summon... Uh, Dungeons and Dragons demons into his room before he killed himself. Another case, wow. the kid had thought he had the ability to astral travel coming from the D- Dungeons and Dragons. Well, that he could leave his body and come back. And well, he had cool. rigged it up just according to the rule book so he could do it. He was surrounded by his materials and put a bullet in his head so he could leave his body. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It sounds like I mean, somebody went astral to travel. That's, he died murdered, of stupidity. And there's no violence there. I mean, I, to, to you, use an analogy with another game, who is bankrupted by losing a game of Monopoly? There you Nobody go. Is I, it makes no sense. Make-believe. The property is make-believe. Mm-hmm. Dungeons and Dragons we, is a real serious problem. Oh, I, we can stop we'll it there. In the upcoming few moments. The- well, I just don't understand. Well, hold on. Let's go. Let's give this guy one more chance here. Let's see. I want to see the reenactment. Did you see? Oh, you got to this. Far beyond Dungeons and Dragons. Because in Japan, I've heard that like they're really into the role-playing games where you, you don't just bash people and kill them. You go around and Murder you know, use your head and stuff. But here, it's sort they of can't be bargained with. What? Kids are becoming acclimated to this. All right, so that's thing. this part. What is all and now let's go to another D and D clip here. that came out. Wait, are, is this? Are you trying to like? Inversely, sort Wait. of make fun of Marcus and I for being nerds? Yeah. No, this was, is Satan's game. Was that guy playing facts and Adam? I think so. Good game. Now this is more of an anime. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, you Satan's if, game. Whoa, cool. Oh, I know that. Like it or not, Look at that. are attracted in their weaker I mean, they're all fucking cool. That kid. And a game like that, that, that dude's more likely to see a pair of tits than most people in a football game. Jane Mail. Special. Well, it's cool. That is cool. That is making cool. cool. That's analog. Of former of nerd prawn. This yeah. afternoon, no, the Dead Ale yes, Wives Watchtower invites yes. you to sit in I'm on sorry, an actual everybody. gaming session. That look at us. The previous and Whoa, this is cool guy. This is a hidden more camera of a joke. takes you to the inner sanctum of Dungeons I started and playing Skyrim. Dragons. What do you think of it? It's long. It's very long. It's very deep. It's kind of you have listen entered to the, the door to the north. You are now by yourself, standing in a dark room. The pungent stench of mildew emanates from the wet dungeon walls. Where are the Cheetos? They're right next to you. <laughs> so this I is like a sketch of a rich... Where's the Mountain Dew? In the this fridge. is like old yeah. YouTube yeah. comedy. I cast yeah. a spell. Where's the Mountain Dew? 
Dude. Yes, you can have a button. Dude, do. just go get it. I can cast any of these, right? On You're the making list? fun yes, of us. Any, any of the first level ones. I'm gonna get it. So I've played <laughs> role playing games for years. How many sodas did you drink? I've been paid <laughs> to play role playing games. I want to cast magic, magic missile. missile. Oh, you've seen this? Yes. <laughs> He hasn't cast anything yet. I am though, if you'd listen. I'm casting magic missile. Why are nowhere. you casting magic missile? There's nothing to attack here. This makes me mad. I, I'm attacking the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> what is this bit? Is that from? Is this from some other famous darkness. comedy thing? There's an elf in front of you. Whoa! That's me, right? He's is this the same a, thing as G.I. Joe with the cartoon? And is he that... has gray hair you know it. and blue I know it, eyes. But... No, I don't. I have gray eyes. I can't tell you what it's from. Let me see that sheet. Well, it says I have, I tell you well, it says I I have it. blue, but I decided I wanted gray so eyes. So many years Whatever. lost okay, the drugs. You guys can talk to each other. <laughs> yeah. So no, many different want. memories I've had and gone. Hello. Did well, you do drugs when you played D&D? I am Staff. No, I was actually told to be sober. how come you had to cast magic missile? That's what I would say if I would. You guys are being attacked. Do I see that? Happening? No, you're outside Marcus parks my car. I had to stop the Christian documentary series drunk. because it was ruining my marriage. There are, there are seven ogres surrounding you. Oh, How right. can they surround us? I had Morton Kaiden's magical watchdog. The sketch watch keeps going. The no, sketch keeps it, going. It, it, it doesn't get any better. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, totally I, I just thought it was kind of funny because like, I want mountain dew. No, no, dude, that was the funny. Said, that was always the. That's a genuine fake. Yes, this is Dan Harmon. Oh, this is Dan Harmon. Yes. I thought it was. We have inadvertently somehow. We're this all ex Adult Swim Bruce people. Yeah. There's an entire yeah, room of people that have been fired yeah. by Adult Swim. Yeah, that's I think not the, that's, yeah. he's not the I one who uh, sided said, with no. the pedophiles you know, you to catch a predator, you didn't right? Actually say did you ever that hear that clip? The spell, of so the guy from ogres, uh, Rick okay. and Morty? Oh, oh Justin Roiland. Yeah, we can stop this. Thank you. Yes, Justin Roiland, if you want to have a very interesting clip, he was on a podcast and he said, Well, yeah, the guys get sent pictures, but the girls, they look a lot older. And he literally defended the pedophiles from the show to catch a predator. I mean, I, I never the thought only that, that thing, was possible. I am not defending Justin Roiland, but I don't know how many times something, a part of a sentence could be lifted oh, no, it was from a something he that I've on. said. No, he went on. He went on. <laughs> All right. You go on and on and on. It's one thing. Oh, I do. <laughs> I do. And nobody knows. This is what I talk about with Natalie all the time. That's going to be the worst part when I have dementia is that I don't know if anybody's going to know. Mm. No, they Because they're all going to think it's some funny bit. Oh, he's being funny. Meanwhile, I'm like, hey, I'm lost. <laughs> and they're all like, oh, oh Henry doing his lost bit. There he is. Huh. Oh, he's pooping his pants. He's doing his poop in the pants bit. That's an interesting yeah. thing. Yes, Robbie, this stream has taken some strong left turns <laughs> tonight. All right. <laughs> Yes. If anybody knows where that's from, let me know because it, I think it's from like 1998, 1999. I remember it from Real high funny. school, I think. That was really it's, funny. It's really, I remember something like there was a bunch of spawn figures, oh, figurines, sure, sure. and I remember Maybe there was the violator spawn. played the Mountain Dew character, I think. Oh, that's funny. John Leguizamo. No, it was the comic book violator. Oh, no. All right. So, Wisconsin, it's cold. How do Packers fans survive? Let's go. <sighs> Booze. Being 300 pounds. This is the Milwaukee. <laughs> you're, see, I mean, you're not, you're not far off. Oh, yeah. Jaeger, no. Gold Schlager's got the little flex of gold. That's got yeah. the gold flex. Technically, Jaeger is an aperitif or digestif. Yeah. And I actually kind of, it's nice after, it's weird, I've switched to that. It's like back in the day, college doing shots of oh, Jaeger yeah. was always the best. Loved it. But I started shooting Jaeger again. Uh-huh. It's great. Really? Uh, well, I'm back in the Jaeger. What's the be- no, what's the no, 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 what's no. The, the the alcohol uh, content of a Jaeger? It's like it's, I think it's forty, isn't it? It's good. I want to say it's like any liquor. Mm-hmm. I want to, but there's something about it. It yeah. kind of soothes the stomach. Yeah, and you can have like six of them. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're gonna your asshole is going to become a. It'll be oh yeah, nasty. Yeah. You shit. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think there's something to it. It's something the worm would. I wish the cocaine would still have the coke in it. I wish the Jaeger would still have the deer blood in it. People really had it better back then. Yeah. Real quality. Really People used good to get cocaine, sick. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah good. really good cocaine. Yeah. Well, the best cocaine was the old cocaine, which was the liquid cocaine, which is how surgery was invented. I don't know, man. Mid two thousand, mid to late two thousands, New York City cocaine. Whoa. I, I wasn't think it cool. Was very good. Oh. I didn't like it. I was not cool enough. Oh, it was incredible. No, I was. Oh. I was drinking Canadian Mist and working three jobs. And- <laughs> <laughs> okay, what were you doing? Me? Yeah. A lot. 
You were? Yeah, dude, Brooklyn. You never fucking gave me none. Fucking mid to late 2000s. You never gave me none. Because by the time we started hanging out, I was not doing cocaine anywhere yeah. near as much anymore. You stopped dressing mm. like Supergirl. You stopped uh, making out with dudes. Uh, you yeah. stopped like, like, well, well, flicking cum with, all over everything. No, nah, making out with dudes. That was a college thing. By the time I got to New York City, it was just dre- I mean, dressing very feminine. very. I but that's what attracted the women, that's ironically. Attract- yeah. A college thing ironically. sounds more like but a I'm Satan th- thing to me. Mike Warnke. What? <laughs> what? I have a whole clip of Mike Warnke here. I want to okay. Show you. Oh, please. So, Henry, yep. have you seen this clip? I don't know. When we did the Michael, when we did the Mike Warnke series, I was like very deep into his. Holy fucking shit! It's me. Oh my god! I need this shirt. Give it a listen. I just up there interviewing Leon. Leon, isn't he neat? Oh, beautiful. It's just amazing. Where did you find this thing? Spirit. Listen to this. He just does this thing. (sighs) He's being funny. You don't understand. I'm going to make a liar out of you for 10 minutes. I ain't going up there yet. (laughs) So he's late. (laughs) Isn't that amazing? Whoa. He sucked its dick. He's a goof. You know. (laughs) He's a funny guy. This is. Oh, my God. He doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. Can't turn it off. He's still around, praise the Lord. I know it is. Um, I know this life. You wouldn't want him to be panting like a lizard. Because if you did, then he's just panting like a lizard. I wasn't going to leave that. You're rolling. He's coked out of his mind. Okay, um. This is this is when he's street preaching. I think this is early on, right? This is when he starts. This when is 1979. 1979. Okay. No, he's, he's in. At this is he point. superstar at this point? I don't know about just, superstar, um, but he's in. Something about how you came to the Lord, or just exactly how you know how you got led to him. To the Lord? Yeah. Well, uh, I was, uh, you know, into Satanism and drugs and all that stuff in the 60s, and cool. pretty much into the hippie culture and stuff, and going to college. You know, everybody went to college to avoid the draft. Kissing guys. And I was in college and uh, just pursuing my career as an occultist. I've been studying the occult since I was about 13. That's what I do. I was doing a lot of dope. He's talking about me. Booze and partying it up. And all of a sudden, I started getting accosted by these Jesus I freaks. I love What's the career? Now, I don't call them Jesus freaks anymore. But I, in those days, I did. And there was there were just these people that, that uh, well, they just knew the Lord. I had met a lot of uh, religious people up to then, but that was a, maybe my first time Where's with meeting the shtick, really Mike? people who are Come on, blah, 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 you know? blah, blah, you gotta and get me in with some shit. The no, it started with, with the you know, shtick. I heard about yeah. the law, and I heard about how God was gonna kill me and burn me over and roast me <laughs> to ever, forever in hell, you know, and it didn't get, make so much yeah, impression people saying on some Paul Giamatti vibes. my way out Definitely. of it. But it was the love that really freaked me out, and I couldn't get away from it, and that's really what was the beginning of the witness, and then I got into Navy boot camp because I was Every doing time so many he lies, drugs, he touches you, you literally, he, he, he literally has done it three times. Yeah. That's so I, funny. I got into service and I, and I got two Christians for roommates for three months. And they just mm. continued to share the love of the Lord with me and, and teach me that, that Jesus really just wanted me and he wanted to love me. And, there and, you go. You can fast forward towards near the end there. Like that and he wasn't just a couple. And then he testimony at all it has to do with the time i spent yeah, in vietnam just, uh, yeah he's right. just there was a joke in here just, yeah. he's just the yapping the just like there is shit. a joke at some point but um, we can stop it okay, yeah. because the next video of- the next i'm just video. haunted by that shirt it's a awesome i want shirt. that fucking shirt How, nice did somebody shirt. chat can someone in the chat find me that fucking shirt send it to side stories lpotl at gmail.com because that's what i need to do for halloween the next video i want to pay close attention to human bigfoot let's honor the world's tallest man for once. Oh, the women are all saying the the wetness is wild when fucking Mike rolls in. Mm-hmm. Mike Warnke? All the women are on the chat. They're Dude, all talking about just like... all the time. Yeah. Yep, they're all swimming in it. And I was going to make us watch the full five minutes, but we are running low on time, and I have one more to get to. So this... Yeah, Robert Wadlow was Jr. just under nine Very feet tall. tall. Eight feet eleven Look and one-tenth inches. Any tall? Nearly two feet taller Give than NBA this guy? All-Star yeah. Shaquille O'Neal is today. I know a lot about this guy. He, 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 led, a, he led a tragic life. He was only 20. All doorways, no room on a bus, no room on a train. You're not a dashiki no made chat, I'm just saying. Everything was made for a person. Look at that. It's scary, dude. You ever see the movie Smile? Yeah. Yep. It's like that one scene with the, uh, the tall guy. Psychiatrist. Alton, Illinois. That's like a haunting a hill house. As his average size like parents 10. watched in awe, yeah. it didn't take long for Robert Wadlow to grow up. <laughs> <Like they're laughs> <their heads. laughs> they watched in horror. Yeah. And they were all like, no, no, please stop. Stop growing. Five, it was, was all. already five feet four. At five! 
He was six foot five. Yeah, got you. Oh, yeah. Over his teachers. But I went in there to teach, and I still don't People remember. People saying it's thing Slender Man. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. And sat down. Look at that. Big old feet sticking what a up. nightmare. Yeah. Do you think that when you're this big, they, you know, your penis it was works? To, oh, I, size I think it does because the blood still gets there. It was mid-calf where it stopped. Yeah, because his feet just kind of died. Yeah, the circulatory system of the human body can't go that long. But he's still trying to do like Boy Scouts. Look at that's a kid his age. Even joined the Boy Scouts. Well, it wasn't the circulatory system that got that actually killed him. What it was was the nerve system. The pain nerves can't travel that far. Like the human pain nerves can only travel. Travel so far, he got an infection because he had to wear these braces. He got an infection. He didn't notice for two days, and the infection killed him. Boom! When he was 12, Look at that little tie. Found he had an yeah, it's, pituitary it's great. The source of human Look at that. That's he all definitely he, lived, didn't live a life of was dangerous total tragedy. Sure to tragedy and pain. Well, if you would have gotten the pituitary just being got all he did was get snipped. He got gawked at. You ever hear him talk? I'm about seven feet tall. I'm about 40 pounds. Why do giants get the big boys like that? Saying, it's gotta be he something. Seven, the bigger. Bigger. Is it just a bigger the thing? Is it guys, thicker ropes? Yeah, you got bigger, just like smaller people have the smaller ones. I just didn't know there was so much damn footage of the guy. Please kill me. Please someone come all the way up here and fucking kill me. Someone give me some sunglasses. No, she could never saw him angry. If he was angry, they would have shot him. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, somebody <laughs> fucking come kill me. They did say circulation like problems. problems. I think it's a bit of both. Put a screwdriver in my neck. Too. Just do something. Yeah, something to end all those whole fucking size of those devil man, circus I'm a part of called my life. Please, for the love of God, I have to get everything custom made. I'm incredibly poor. I can't work. He's got to have a hog. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? In Wadlow was well liked <laughs> and treated <laughs> with respect. They had to make a hat for an you elephant and give it to me. Nice attention. deep voice. Yeah. 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 yeah, this next yeah. one is brought to you by this next episode is brought to you by Simply Sir. I wish I could simply be safe. You're gonna make fun of this man? He's on the ADA. Technically, this is a disability, so you're making fun of someone with a disability. Donald Trump. Look at him! That kid's his age! That kid's his age! Did you see that Biden? That not his age. Yes, they're the same age! The same age. Two and a half threads, kid's three years old at did most! Did you see Biden during a St. Patrick's Day parade said, I'm not Irish because I'm sober and none of my relatives are in jail? I was like, that's my president! Yeah, I like him. All right, so that's that story. Let's close this whole thing. That's hilarious, by the way. Um, good. Let's close this out with a video. I'm size sorry. 40 shoes. Size 40. Oh, so damn. I've been focusing a little bit on, you know, you can see my kind of YouTube's algorithm. I can see you it. You can yeah, see it. Can a lot of it. like fun devil stuff, a little Packers, a little wrestling. Uh -huh. um, this is from Batman Returns, and I never saw this before. I found this on my Instagram, and I didn't know Batman Returns was controversial. What? But evidently, according to this talk show, which I never saw before, it is. Batman Returns, I mean, it, it was kind of sexual. It had a weird thing. It went after the kids. Is and then the Max like, Shrek thing? Is dude, it Christopher just Walker? Li listen, it's really fucking... This is actually... I find this to be quite funny. Hello, everyone. By now, you pretty much have had to have heard that the summer's big movie is Batman is. Returns. Faith in the first couple of weeks, it has already grossed more than $100 million at the box her office. Enemy, her worst enemy was heresy Peters. Some parents contend that that's Batman that's Returns, nice which is rated PG-13, is actually being marketed for younger children, and the movie is just too violent. It was very violent. It was a total attack against kids, the whole movie. Everything that kids love was this, being used against them. Is this TikTok? Them. Like what? Clowns. This is what TikTok Even is. Even the like. penguin had a ducky boat. <laughs> so and things that kids could identify with. And this kid mobiles. Sucks. He sucks. All Bad that actor. type of stuff we're using to hurt kids and capture kids. Get out of here, little corporate narc. America that's thinking through the impact they're having on our young people. Our kids need this hope. They need real heroes. Backstage. They need a bright future, not these dark and. And the film was full of little dirty, really raunchy little dirty jokes and lots of extreme violence. There you go. I had no idea that Satanic Panic even wrapped Batman Returns. Brad Carl. Well, I wouldn't say that's Satanic Panic because I don't know if you noticed, but there were a fair amount of kids in that audience wearing yarmulkes. <laughs> okay, well, another Marcus Hart point. Isolate the audio. We've got the footage. Let's go out with Gerard Way. Thank you all so much for watching this stream. We're happy to be back. And this is a little thing that is actually horrible, but we're going to go out with it.